Hey friendos, how's it going? It's the Enforcer here. Thank you so much for dropping in on my latest video. And this one, I have from the archives a couple of jerseys that I found here. Now, just a quick little backstory here. I am running out of space here. So slowly what I've been doing is taking everything out of the closet to see what really needs to be here, what doesn't, what I could donate, what is just garbage and can get trashed, right? So did that and I found a hamper. And I remember this hamper was one from when um, I moved about 10 years ago. I put a lot of my extra clothes and stuff that couldn't fit into my uh, bags and, and, and boxes and stuff when I moved. And I just haphazardly threw stuff in. I'm talking like sweats, t-shirts, overshirts, um, uh, basketball shorts, t-shirts, all this other stuff. So went through that and on the bottom of this basket, right here, of this basket, were a couple of jerseys. So I looked at them and I was like, man beautiful to find but they needed a little TLC so I gave them just a little bit of something I gave them a quick soak gave them a wash and an air dry some of them still gonna need some work so honestly in the comments if you tell me it's roady it's rashy it, it looks nasty I know that I acknowledge that so that will be another process but so that's what I'm gonna do now and then also look for work on this space. So what I did as well is yesterday when I went to Costco, I picked up a little light system that I'm gonna run across the inside of this because, totally forgot, down here at the bottom, inside of the closet, I've got juice. I've got an electrical outlet, so I can go on and run my lights here and then have it go all the way around so that's a little long-term project that i'm looking forward to um got the lights little process i'm not going to make this until i change out this whole rack thing and i get a tier system no plans to make any major overhauls once the ikea closest to me has the the design piece that i want and again Shout out to uh, the hockey guy, the OG, the hockey guy, the man covering hockey. Um, see his jerseys in the back, and I go, you know what? I could put that center thing here, get one over here, get one over here, so I could have three areas here, three areas down here, or possibly two, and then a little bit of shelving for all the stuff that doesn't go. So look for this to change soon, but let me show you these five jerseys. Because I think you guys and gals may like this. So first one in this bundle was a Coho Edmonton Oilers Copper Drop jersey in here. Coho, made in Canada, a 60. Let me see there. Yeah, well, it's a 60. Hopefully you can see that, but love, love this oil, oil rigger guy, this roughneck, I assume just, just cranking on the hockey stick right there. As you see, coho back here, fight strap. Center emblem needs a little bit of steaming, a little bit of work, but not that bad. And I do, I do love this jersey, that copper just adds I dig that so there was the first one in there second one I know I showed you guys this in my Detroit Red Wings one but I had another one and this is a pro player so it's gonna look bad and I, I know exactly where I got this one sports K 20 something years ago this is that black fashion jersey I know the logo 
is roadie. It's going to need some work. It may not be able to be fixed because it was folded up so much. And it is a fetter off in the back. I remember Sports K doing this, this one for me many, many, many years ago. And even this one, I remember when I used to get stuff customized from them. It would have that NHL player little thing on there. So the stitching is good. Stitching works out good. I kind of like the black and white on the sleeve and the white and the red back there. I think that looks pretty cool. So there's that one. And now, oh, okay. Now these are the two gems that are unfortunately in the roughest shape. A pro player once again, all, all balled up, sadly. Screaming Eagle. Look at that. It is, it, it is in rough shape. I will give you that, but damn, does this thing look nice. It is a pro player, and yeah, you can see right here, stain. There, stain. There, stain. Stain up around here. This, this one needs the most work. And that's sad because this is probably the prettiest one here. So there's, and no capitals down here at the bottom. They did make them without that on there. Got the capital building in that copper look. And yeah, pro player again, when I guess Coho, Coho and CCM, when they had the authentics, I think pro player scooped up in here and was doing the uh, replicas. This is a replica right here. Man, yeah, this is one. Needs to go to rehab. Serious rehabilitation is needed here. And two more, two more. I got a white goat head as well. Same thing, pro player with this real bulky neckline that looks pretty damn good. The B right there with the saber through it. And that goat head. This one, the staining is not as bad. It's just unfortunate because of the logo. It's all creased and it needs some work. But I think if I take the steamer to the back of it, hit it a couple times, work all this stuff out, I think I'd be able to do something with that. Of course, it would say pro player on the back. Let's say your your conference back there. But yeah, look at that. Was here the whole time, and I totally forgot about it. One of those things when you when they say out of sight, out of mind. Man, do they mean it? This thing. But I'm I'm looking at you now, Mr. Goathead, or Mrs. Goathead. And the last one here. This was always one I wondered about because I knew I was like, no, I know I took that one, but where did it go? Where did it go? Now I know where it went. And I believe, uh, um, since I mentioned the hockey guy before, I think he said this is his favorite jersey ever. Um, I've gotten authentic of it, though. It is the King's black with the shield right there on it with my NHL 2000 patch. Los Angeles down here at the bottom uh, with the crown right here. And also I did get it customized with the Luke Robitaille. The num this one sadly was one when I used to, way back in the day, I used to throw this thing in the dryer. That's why the numbers look pretty bad, but the jersey overall, pretty damn good. The uh, the shield right here, still in pretty, pretty good shape. The crown right here, still holding up well. So I say CCM, made in Canada, well, the 60s kind of sewn into there, but there that is. And fight strap, of course. 
this one here. This is the one that I'm happy to, to have found because I've got this one. And where's that other one right here? This right here. These are the two looks right here for the Kings, I would say. Right there, you got your Rob Blake. Got your Luke Robitaille. Oh, we got 420, baby. Blaze up. <laughs> so it was nice to, to have that because, yeah, I always wondered, where did that go? Where did that baby go? And you know what? It never went anywhere. It was here the whole time. So that's nice to go. Also, I'm sure some people were wondering um, about the uh, wood jersey, the Detroit Red Wings one that I got. This is where it's at. It's right here. Looking beautiful. Easy setup. It was just one, um, one uh, screw in with the drywall. They provide you with the drywall um, um, sink or anchor or something. Put in your screw. Away it goes. Nice and easy. Looks good with that Red Wings one up there. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you the raw... The raw setup here, like I said, light should be coming up here, change them up a bit and really use the space properly for the jerseys and the jersey collection. That's the main goal. But I just wanted to show you these five once again. It was this beautiful Kings, the goat head. The Screaming Eagle, this fashion Red Wings with Fedorov on it, and the Copper Oilers one with the oil rig, oil rigger, the rough neck up there. So just wanted to share my findings with you guys and say I appreciate each and every one of you for watching this video whether you're a day one og new around the block appreciate all of you um and yeah just uh also just know that um you're you are you are important every person out there is important never feel like you're less than or or unwanted everyone has their purpose okay and i'm just saying this is a general thing it's a general pick-me-up and um, yeah, just know that I value you watching me. And I, I hope that um, I am of, of value to you in any way, whether it's just to forget about what you got going on or bring back a little bit of your nostalgia for your collection or something you haven't seen before, hey, whatever works. So thank you everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you found some old relics of, uh, of yours that you had totally forgotten that, that you had had or wondered what happened to them. Um, let me know what you think of there. Any suggestions, especially for the goat head and the screaming eagle. It is a replica pro player. The logos tend to be more in line with the style and feel of, of, of a starter logo. So I already know I'm working from behind with that. But anyway, friendos, thank you so, so much for watching. Appreciate you all. I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.